So, what does improving your pitch have to do with getting a haircut? So imagine this circle represents the market of everyone who needs a haircut, the entire possible market. Now, the research shows that only 5% of the possible market are actively thinking about getting a cut. We call these people the active market. Everyone else, the 95% of any given market are what we would call dormant. Now they either haven't looked in the mirror for a while, right? They're unaware they have a problem or they just can't be bothered. They have no problem, they've got no sense of urgency. It's the difference between the dormant and the active. Now, most businesses are putting their energy into targeting the active market. And this is true across every industry. And the perception is that it's easier, that the active people, they're ready to go. Mark Twain said, when you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect because the 5% is a tough market. People are shopping around, they're comparing you against other people. They're gonna negotiate, they want discounts, they want value adds and incentives. It is a race to the bottom. Plus, what happens when you get more people targeting a smaller market? We well, get competition and competition is the enemy of profit. Because the 5% is such a small and a saturated audience, gaining their attention has very little impact on that power curve. It doesn't harness the network effect. So it should be pretty obvious then where the opportunity lies. While everybody else is competing with each other, we develop a pitch for our clients that helps them get the attention of the dormant market. As a result, they get way more attention than their competition. When everyone zigs, you should zag. And this is Darren. When we met Darren, his pitch was pretty simple. I sell boats. That was what it says on the tin, right? Now that effectively targets the 5% of people that might be interested in a boat. The problem is only a small fraction of that 5% would ever become buyers. So it's a low impact, low leverage pitch that doesn't do much for the power curve. So the key to a powerful pitch is to remember this analogy. People don't buy drill bits they buy holes. The drill bit is just the means to an end. What people want is a result, is an outcome. So we helped Darren realize that the boat was the drill bit. What his ideal customers really wanted, the result they were really after, was fun and connection with their family and friends. And so when Darren shifted his pitch to, I sell boats, but it's not really about the boat, what it's really about is connection. Uh, it's fathers, and their kids, it's husbands and their wives, it's blokes and their mates. Everything changed and it changed fast because this new pitch speaks directly to the 95%. The 5% represents people looking for a boat but the 95% represents people who have that underlying sense of a lack of connection. And Darren's new pitch plants the seed that a boat could be the solution. But the real pivot point for me, the real change was the realization that I wasn't in the business of selling boats. I've been doing this for 10 years at this time. It, it, this was a bizarre concept. What I was in the business of doing was reconnecting with people. Let me float this scenario by you. I'm in the business of getting dads off their smartphones long enough to teach the kids how to water ski. I'm in the business of getting them to teach their kids how to fish, just like they used to when they were kids. So once I grasped the whole concept of boat ownership, it's not about the boat, it's about reconnecting, it completely changed my whole paradigm of my business. And so it influences both markets. Now, does this mean everyone in that 95% and the 5% is gonna buy a boat? No, of course not. But for the sake of changing a few words, which costs nothing, he's casting a much wider net. Plus, he's now leveraging the network effect. Way more people are responding to his pitch and he accelerates up the power curve. Darren went on to write three books, a radio station, build a whole show around him, paid him for it, he sold more boats than ever, and he ended up successfully selling his business. It delivers to the bottom line. I sell more boats than I ever have. We are in August at the moment, which is a winter month, and normally I'd be lucky if I sell one or two boats during winter. I have sold as many boats this month, three and a half years after I did the program, as what I do in November, which is my busiest month.